Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, I'm finally sitting down again with Trish. She's Green Beauty Trish on YouTube. I will, of course, link all of her information down below. We also just filmed a video up for her channel. It's our five essential travel products, Favorite, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> products that we take with us when we're yep. traveling, whatever you want to call it. And on my channel, we're going to be doing our five favorite serums mm -hmm. at the moment, I guess. Yeah, just sort of currently using. Yeah, products yeah. we're loving, five favorite serums mm -hmm. we're turning towards using, whatever you exactly. want to say. So, yeah, why don't you go ahead and just start okay. talking about your first product. Yeah, well, I would say this is definitely one of my favorite serums for sure. And this is the Live Botanical Illuminating Exfoliating Serum. And if you guys aren't familiar with Live Botanical, um, Carolyn McCrory, actually is local here right, in Portland, yeah. she has just become one of my favorite formulators. She mostly uses natural products. She does mm -hmm. use some synthetics for you know preservatives right. and whatnot. And like this one has lactic acid in it, so she will use, um, like I said, some yeah. synth some synthetics, but she mostly does use um, botanical based uh, ingredients. And this product, what's really cool, is 84% of all the ingredients are regionally source. Oh wow, and that's from, something like, that she Pacific tends Northwest. to include in her products. Yeah, right, the... so I think that's really cool, you know, it's just like the carbon footprint thing. Yeah. Things aren't having to be shipped over from far away and using fossil fuels. But right. anyway, so this one I really love. Um, this is what the bottle looks like. We're having some focus issues here. There we go. I think that did, did focus that in there. Um, this one is based in aloe, green tea, green tea hydrosol. It's got willow bark extract in it, vegetable glycerin. Um, just some other botanicals are marshmallow root. It also has moth bean extract. And okay. just off camera, we were talking about yeah. bakuchiol, yeah. which is being purported as a like a botanical retinol yeah. alternative. Yeah. But does possibly have some sustainability issues. But moth bean too, apparently, is That's also similar. considered yeah. as like a botanical retinol alternative, right. um, but it doesn't have any issues around sustainability. Which so, is huge. Yeah, and then, so this also has lactic acid in it. It's got sodium PCA and it's got peptides in it. And it's just a really beautiful kind of, um, let's see if you can see that texture there. As you can see, it's just running down my finger like that. It's thin and kind of watery, so it's sort of almost like a K-Beauty type essence in a yeah, way. Yeah, that's what just, it seems like. Yeah, if you want to use a little bit, you can. And it just, it's maybe, oh, wow. maybe just a little bit thicker than an essence, but it's a beautiful serum and it blends really well. Like if you want to mix it with another, uh, like a moisturizer or even a balm, if you just want to have like a light exfoliating property with the lactic acid, yeah. um, if you don't want to go too hard right. <laughs> on your AHAs, or let's say if you have been using um, too strong of AHAs, like if maybe you just overdid it with glycolic acid or something, or even with a physical yeah. mask or something, uh, like a physical exfoliant um, and you want just something a little bit more gentle than this I highly highly recommend it and it just it feels really beautiful on the skin it has a a little bit of a tackiness but it goes away yeah, pretty it quickly down. yeah and it's just a really lovely product and I really love Carolyn I love what she's doing she's a fantastic person so I love supporting her brand and um, I didn't write down the price, but overall her price points are very, very reasonable. They always so, seem super reasonable. And that's yeah. one brand I haven't gone into yet, but just mm -hmm. with as much as you've talked about it, people seem to really, really love her products. Yeah, so exactly. I definitely want to experience them. Yeah, so this is definitely, um, will always be one of my favorite serums for sure. I love yeah. it. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about one then that seems very similar okay. in ingredients. Mm -hmm. So this is, I talked about it in my Best of Beauty. It's a really, really fun product. It's the Is Clinical Polyvitamin Serum. Mm. So this is... A little help with the focus there. Yep. There we go. <laughs> so this is, it's like a multivitamin. Mm -hmm. It has 40% hyaluronic acid in it. Oh, wow. So it's a base of hyaluronic acid, but then it also has all of your vitamins. It has vitamin A, vitamin B in the form of niacinamide, vitamin C in the form of ascorbic acid, Oh, nice. the hyaluronic acid. Mm -hmm. I want to say it has lactic acid in it as well. Mm. And maybe some type of either white willow bark or salic salicylic. I'm not uh -huh. sure on that one. Don't quote me, but it's kind of got everything. So this right. is a product that I was saying, if you want to just have a one and done skincare routine, wash your face, use a treatment product, and then a very basic moisturizer, you could very easily get away with this. I think I do a pump of it. Mm -hmm. All of the IS Clinical products are water weight, so they absorb almost immediately. I almost actually have a little bit of trouble applying them because it's mm -hmm. almost like they absorb too quickly. Right, yeah. So when I have the dropper ones, I actually do the whole Instagram thing where I drop it on my face oh, really? and then <laughs> massage it immediately because their uh -huh. vitamin C just like 
disappears. Wow. This is similar. I can do a pump, put it on my face. I think because it has the hyaluronic acid in it, it does last a little bit longer, so you don't have to work so mm -hmm. quickly. Um, I want to say this one is 120 or mm. $140, so it on is expensive. expensive side. But for me, it, the way I talk about it to people, and I've even recommended it to my mom, which is very simple in her skincare. Like if you wanted a treatment product, if you want to do something good for your skin, that's very simple. Use this, put a moisturizer on, use a sunscreen the next day. That can very easily be your skincare routine because you're yeah. getting a little exfoliation, mm -hmm. you're getting a little retinol, a little niacinamide, a little vitamin C. It's got everything where you don't really need anything else after it and you don't feel like you need anything else. Yeah, like, it sounds pretty packed. Your skin feels good. <laughs> I can I can use this and go to bed and not need a moisturizer sometimes oh, wow. and I feel fine. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal, probably not for winter, but just summer, if you feel and, mm -hmm. your skin doesn't need anything more, it this is a really nice product. Right. So I love this one. I'm using a lot of different retinols you're going to see in this video. There's a lot of retinol products, but I've just been playing with retinols. I've had a few new ones come in and this still is top of the list. I really, really love this product. Well, and some people, you know, skincare estheticians, yeah. whoever, I mean, there is that theory out there that sometimes it is good to let your skin kind of breathe yeah, exactly. at night. Don't so that might snap, be smother yeah, it, whatever. Yeah, so that might be ideal for that yeah. you know, that skincare theory. Yeah, I think if you, you have know. up to normal skin, you can get away with just using that and mm -hmm. calling it a night. Right, exactly. Um, so speaking of, let's see, where am I? Yeah, vitamin C. This is the serum that I'm using right now. This is the Timeless 20%. I think they just call it the Timeless... 20% vitamin C serum. Yeah. I don't think there's really an a, Very curious to hear your like opinion a on this fancy one. name for it. And this is what the bottle looks like. They have actually... I love the new packaging. Yeah, they've just changed their packaging. I think it was in a glass bottle mm -hmm. with a dropper. Yeah, but it was kind of like... In exactly that like thing. that, yeah. But they've changed it to the airless pump, which I think is probably better yeah. to help preserve the vitamin C yeah. from oxidizing. So there is ferulic acid in here and also vitamin E, like you were saying, it's mm -hmm. pretty much a dupe for the skin SkinCeuticals. Yeah, which is $165. Yeah, so. and this one's $29.95. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so a lot better. If you want, go ahead and pump some yeah, out I've on your so hands curious. so you can see the, the texture. It has a really nice slip get... to it. Uh... Yeah, I think that's... Oh, yeah in uh, focus there. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it has a really nice slip to it. There's also sodium hyaluronate in here. Um, there's it's got a nice consistency. Yeah, so I, I really like it. On my channel, I focus mostly on green beauty. Right. So this is branching out a little bit of that world for me. There's propylene glycol in here and mm -hmm. polysorbate 80. I mean, for me, I'm okay, you know, incorporating some like conventional beauty yeah. into my routine. So I don't really feel like it's that big of a deal. But for those of you who like to kind of stay in the green beauty world, yeah. this, you know, some of those might ingredients not might it. not be for you, but right. whatever. Um, but I think that if you're looking for a 20% um, ascorbic acid yeah. serum, I don't, I mean, this is great. I think it's a great Super value. Straightforward. Yeah. I don't really see the need necessarily to, I actually, I mean, I've personally never used the SkinCeuticals, mm -hmm. but I can't imagine that it would be that much more amazing I to spend over a hundred dollars more yeah, on it. I think it. the only I thing that know. the SkinCeuticals has patented is the pH for it. So mm -hmm. that's where you'll see people dance around okay. using CE and Ferulic, but they can't use their patented pH is like 3.2 with their formulation or it's something very specific. Okay. So you'll see similar ingredients, just different okay. pH levels. Yeah. So, so it's a, a similar product then. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I guess it would be one of those things where you would have to use, like maybe do a side by side exactly. yeah. for several weeks and see if you notice a big difference. Right. Um, I think for the price point, it's a great product. I don't know. What did you think of the slip? I, 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 I think, think it has it, a great feel to it. It doesn't yeah. feel like it feels it has a hydrating finish to it. It mm -hmm. doesn't feel sometimes you get the vitamin C serums that leave your skin feeling dry. And this yeah. definitely feels like it would be more of a hydrated finish, doesn't feel dry, doesn't feel like it would pill or anything. Yeah. It feels nice. I think, you know, all things considered, I think ultimately I do like the Arcona one yeah, you, better. Yeah, you a big fan of that you one. You know, I think that that one does have 20% L ascorbic. I don't know as if it has the Frulic acid in it. I'm, I'm not remembering mm -hmm. off the top of my head. So if that's a really important ingredient to you, 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 you might actually prefer right. the Timeless one. I think the Arcona runs about $90. So again, there's a pretty it's kind of a middle price between difference. the two then. Yeah, you can usually find a 20% off code off of um, Derm Store right. for the Arcona. Yeah. Um, so I do think just like 
experience wise, I do prefer the Arcona. I feel like it just maybe soaks into the skin just a little bit quicker. Yeah, yeah. I just like the texture a little bit better. Right. But you know, if you're on a budget and you want that 20% L-ascorbic, which yeah. is really in a way the gold standard, yeah, oh, still oh, is the gold standard yeah, for the vitamin C, yeah. then I would say go ahead and grab that timeless one. Yeah, and I think I, actually, I've been really curious about it. So that would be, probably be my push to get it. And they seem mm -hmm. to have some other products too. Like they have a oh, pure color acid. And yeah. I was looking yeah. at their site the other day and they, and I think they have a code for first time purchases. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Very <laughs> so, utilitarian, like straightforward. Mm -hmm. You get the ingredient that you want and exactly, yeah. it seems effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I do recommend it, yeah. All right, so the next product, like I said, this is gonna be mostly retinol on my end just because I've been playing with different ones. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have a lot of retinol products and then all of a sudden I had like five. <laughs> Like, well, okay, we'll play with them. So the next one I'm gonna talk about is a brand that I mentioned in My Bestie Beauty that I've come to really love, and that's Globiotics. Mm. They are, as the name would suggest, that they focus primarily on probiotics and skincare, and they kind of were ahead of that whole trend. Oh, so really? they were doing this before, first. yeah, before the whole microbiome, prebiotic, probiotic, they were already doing things, mm -hmm. and every one of their products has probiotics in right. it. Right. And they use them in different ways. So they have the probiotics and then they kind of like play with them or they find different ones or isolate different ones that do different things for the skin. Mm -hmm. Like they have a probiotic that works like a growth factor. So it's a growth factor alternative. They have probiotics that are kind of your conventional probiotic, but they, they have different forms that they use, which mm. is fun. So this is the retinol anti-aging and brightening treatment. Mm -hmm. And this is a pretty stacked ingredients list. So I was looking at it last night because I was trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> it's got glycerin, niacinamide, it has the lactobacillus for me as the fourth ingredient, mm -hmm. and then it goes into hydroxypinacolone retinoate, it has pure retinol, it also mm -hmm. uses becuchiol, which was interesting, I saw that oh, last wow. night. Oh wow, it's got two, it has a couple forms. Right? Yeah. Then they use beta-glucan to kind of go in and soothe any potential retinol irritation, and then they also have some uh, peptides in it. So it's a very stacked list, mm -hmm. and it has a great packaging. Oh yeah. So it's got a pump. It's like very similar to the, the airtight one. And then it has a, it's like a lotion. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. So it is a little bit hydrating. It's an emulsion, an emulsion, but it absorbs into the skin really well. And it actually does brighten the skin. I find that when I used it a couple times, it brightened the skin. It did provide some firming. It hydrated the skin. And I didn't feel like I was getting any irritation. Mm -hmm. I do feel a little bit of tingle when I use it though, which oh. was, I don't know if it's from having three different forms of vitamin mm -hmm. A, but the theory is that those vitamin A's are gonna work at, uh, penetrate at different rates and kind of mm -hmm. work at different layers of the skin. Right. So the hydroxypinacolone retinoate would be that great active retinoid or uh, the one that they use in Luna, most famously. Yeah. And, and then also in that one. <laughs> Something that I've got Something to show else. you. <laughs> but yeah, so it's, that's kind of a nice derivative that is, it's a derivative, but it's also one conversion step below. Mm -hmm. So it's similar-ish to like retinaldehyde. So this is just gonna work at different rates, different penetrability, or has different penetrability. And yeah, it's a really nice product. I have come to really, really love the Globiotics brand, and this one is another great product. How is it cost-wise? Is it on the expensive side? I wanna say it's $100. Or? Okay. Or it's 100 or near 100, but <laughs> I do have a code with Skin Beautiful RX, not a affiliate code, it's mm -hmm. just a discount code where you can get 20% off. Oh, okay, so it's, so it's not too bad. It's, we're yeah. like in that CJ20, you look at about yeah. $80, it's, it's like a Sephora serum at that price, mm -hmm. and it's really, really nice. They just have really solid products that are different. Yeah. Which I love. Well, this is a good segue into yes. the Sunday Riley, which he was alluding to. Yes. And again, so this is kind of one of, the one thing I find sort of mildly annoying about Sunday Riley is they try to ride that line between like, oh, we're, we're botanical, right. but basically they're just, they're a conventional brand uh, that's that uses like. botanical ingredients, yeah. you know, let's be real. <laughs> Exactly. So uh, aside from that, this is a great product. This is the, what do they call this? The A plus high dose retinoid serum. And this is $85. I think it's just one ounce. Um, I love this bottle. I just think it's really nice. And the pump is great. I love the I love dispensing. Yeah. And just your finger like fits perfectly on the top yeah. here. And it's just, it's really elegant packaging. Yeah. I have to say, I think the box that it comes in is really, uh, it's too much. Like they in tend terms to have of, huge. Yeah. Boxes. I it's don't know why. not eco-friendly at yeah. all. I mean, they could just have like a box 
this like this, and it would be fine. Right. But it's like kind of this big giant box that tries to make like you're getting this really special gift <laughs> exactly. or whatever, but it's just, it's too much. They don't need to do that. But anyway, um, this has the hydroxy pina cologne retinoate, yep. and it also has retinol. Okay, so kind of similar to what we just talked yeah, about. Yeah, I don't think there's Bacucciol in here, yeah. but um, anyway, it's got those two retinols. I know that they've been criticized because um, they, they advertise it as being 6%. Yeah. I don't, I've, I, I've heard that it's not actually 6%. It's sort of the way they're, they're sort of getting around something. It's something and to do with it being... maybe you remember what the critique was. I don't remember what it was, but I remember a lot of people saying like, oh, it, it, like you said, it's 6.5 or 6% or whatever, yeah. but it's like a 6% complex of it. So the way it's mixed kind of vaguely gets to 6%, but it's not 6% retinol. Yeah. Or it doesn't right. go into your skin at 6 So it is misleading. Yeah, it's, it's... Not, but it's also exactly. good because you don't want to put 6.5 percent retinol no. on your face really no, no. no. yeah because no. even like one percent yeah because even the um the drunk elephant that's one percent retinol yeah. is very strong right yeah so anyway so just just that clarification there i just wanted to to say but anyway i i love this like you have you ever no tried I've, this? I've never tried it oh it's a glass bottle too mm -hmm. so the texture is amazing oh wow I really love the texture. It's just like yeah, a really kind of like beautiful, a, this is an emulsion. Thinner emulsion, mm -hmm. yeah. And between the two, I know a lot of people go back and forth, like, should I get the Drunk Elephant? Should right. I get the Sunday Riley? Yeah. And I actually um, did lots of, you know, extensive research, yeah. <laughs> did extensive research watch, by watching a lot of YouTube videos and just reading reviews. And I actually chose the, um, the Drunk Elephant, which I do actually really like. Mm -hmm. Um, especially for the melasma that I get above oh, my really? upper lip. Like I feel like I can just, um, like I can pinpoint it yeah. easier because it's more of a lotion. Right. But just sort of overall experience when I pump this out and I just kind of put it all over my face and just, again, just like overall experience. Mm -hmm. um, I really, really love using this one. So I ended up getting them both. I don't really think you have to get them both. Right. If you're looking for sort of like an elegant, you know, something like a retinol yeah. that you can buy or retinoid right. you can buy at Sephora. Um, but if I was hard pressed, I would just pick this one, I think. Um, I think they're both great and I do think they're both really, really effective. Um, but as far as a serum goes, this is definitely more of a serum, whereas the Drunk mm -hmm. Elephant is more of a lotion. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. But I love this one. I think it's fantastic. I know there's some issues with Sunday Riley, but you know, whatever. I, I think it's a great product. A lot of brands have issues. <laughs> of course they do, yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's a great product. I think 85, you know, it's a little pricey, but you know, if you've got your, your Sephora code, or yeah. I think actually they are at Derm Store possibly. I think so. And I don't think they're one of those exclusion brands, no. so that if you've got your 20% off code, then it, it. it makes it definitely more reasonable. So totally. yeah. All right, so my next one is not really a serum, and it's not really something that you can just get, mm -hmm. but I picked it up when I was in Thailand, which I know mm. oh, I've said that to a few people, and they're like, really, you got it in Thailand? <laughs> I can, just trust me that it is a legit. legit product. So it's actually the 0.05 Retin-A cream. Now, I have kind of gone back and forth. I've used Retin-A before at a low concentration, and I've obviously used a lot of different retinol products, but I saw this in the pharmacy, and it's like, I want to, get I want to get it I had good luck with good luck with it before and I mm -hmm. actually did get Thermage when I was in Thailand wait what's Thermage it is a radio frequency kind of skin oh, tightening it helps okay. produce collagen it helps do collagen banking if you're younger so mm -hmm. kind of like you produce collagen and then you hold it and it that is going to get depleted before mm. your body's natural collagen gets depleted mm -hmm. really loved it really really great procedure but it I wanted to follow it up with products and internal products that were going to really help to support that collagen synthesis because mm -hmm. it goes in it does it on its own but i wanted to do things like take internal things change my diet a little bit to help right. support that and really yeah, yeah. make it work and one of the most proven things is retin-a to help with collagen synthesis yeah i mean it's like it or not it is one of the most or the most studied skincare ingredient that right. we use yeah so i'm like well let's give it a go i'm gonna go through the tube and it's really been really really great this has been, next to the Skinner and Azelaic Acid Cream, this has been the best thing for helping with my ingrown hair problem, which mm -hmm. I still have that problem. I've been doing like an at-home hair removal thing that's helped a mm -hmm. lot, but I still do have that. So if I get little bumps from the ingrown hairs, if I apply this, it's great. And then obviously just all over the face, it's been really, really good. My skin's been really bright, really clear. I was gonna say, your skin's looking really amazing Yeah, right I now. felt really good about it. <laughs> just between, like, you've got the glow. Yeah, between yeah. the thermage and this, and I'm able to use it 
I'm basically just using this. I don't have a lot of other actives. That's why I have so many retinols that are stacked up right now. Mm -hmm. I've been using this maybe every other night, every three nights. And you use it all over? I use it all mm -hmm. over. And then on my neck, I'll mix it with something. So mm -hmm. it's not just the pure retinol. Yeah, because that can be a little ask. aggressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I'll mix it with a moisturizer and then put it on my face to kind of slow that absorption. But it's been really great. I mean, like I said, whatever you feel about Retin-A, that's your decision. I have just been liking it and using it and we'll probably use through this tube and then venture off into my other products. But mm -hmm. it's it's been really, really great. So if you really want a heavy hitting, like go for that true retinol experience, kind of like what exactly. we were talking about, yeah. you might want to look into it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've just been really, really loving it and yeah, it's a good product. Yeah, and what I'll do is I have a prescription strength yeah. as well. And what I'll do sometimes is I will mix it with, um, another kind of emulsion yeah. type I mean, that doesn't have an active exactly. in it, you just know, to just sort of buffer it. Because right. my understanding too is it's not going to decrease the efficacy of no. it. It just slows the absorption yeah. so you're less likely to get the Yeah, and that's what they say like so. dermatologists will say if you want to slow that down and help prevent irritation, mm -hmm. you can put your moisturizer on even and then right. put it over the top and it's yeah. supposed to work the same. Mm -hmm. So if you have had problems with that in the past, maybe you try it that way and see if it yeah, works for you. Exactly. Just a quick question. This is yes. a little bit of a diversion, but you said with the azelaic acid with your mm -hmm. ingrown, like sort of getting the ingrown yeah. hair issue. Um, my husband uses azelaic acid immediately after right. he shaves and he feels like that's completely helps. The I felt that that helped a lot. Mm -hmm. I yeah. felt like it helped a lot, but it would be hit or miss. Like mm -hmm. sometimes it would work incredible. Sometimes it wouldn't do anything. I have yet to find a day that if I don't use this, mm -hmm. that it hasn't just taking the bumps out. Like last night I came home from the horse show, I had bumps all over from ingrown hairs, and I put it on last mm -hmm. night and I have nothing. My skin is totally smooth. Mm -hmm. There's a couple in front, but totally smooth. And it just, it, it was a miracle mm -hmm. overnight fix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, right. that's been great for that. If you need an overnight fix, you'll get some peeling, some flaking obviously, mm -hmm. but it, it will definitely transform your nice. skin. Nice. All right, so the last two I'm gonna talk about are really pure like moisturizing products. Um, this one is from Heart of Gold, and this is another one of those local Portland brands oh, that yeah, I'm in love with. Yeah, so Ali uh, is the, um, Ali Drazen is the founder formulator. Let's see, <laughs> there we go. And this is called her Magic Mushroom um, Serum, I don't, <laughs> Hydrating Serum, yeah. And so this has just got a ton, obviously, a ton of mushrooms in it. I'm not gonna list all of them, but there's Silver Ear in here, that's a type of mushroom. Mm -hmm. And she says that that has sustained hydration like um, hyaluronic acid. Yeah. So if you are looking for something that is, you know, if you don't wanna use hyaluronic acid or you're just looking for a botanical alternative, there's, um, there's silver ear in here. There's also reishi and shiitake, which is going to inhibit skin aging. There's also licorice root in here, which helps calm and yeah, brighten. Um, there's, and then as far as the scent profile here, I want you to smell this and see what you think. Here, I'll let you do it. Yeah, so there's Douglas fir and also jasmine grandiflora. Oh, wow. And sometimes I'm not a big fan of jasmine grandiflorum, right. but the two of them together just, I feel like creates, like, don't you feel like it feels like you're sort of in the depth of a deep forest? I was gonna say, like it's, it's like if you went to a Christmas tree yeah, farm totally. and just yes. walk right in the middle of it. Totally. It smells amazing. And it's kind of jammy. I and love it's just, that. It's just a really beautiful fragrance. Now, if you don't like essential oils in your skincare, then, this might not be for you, exactly. but it's a really just beautiful enveloping experience and it is really hydrating. So it's just kind of one of those, um, you know, like indie brands that's very, you know, scent focused and kind of has that like intentional mm -hmm. vibe right. behind it. And, um, you know, if you're, if your interest is peaked at all, you should go check out Allie's website. It's heartofgold.love. It's oh, not okay. a dot com. It's okay. heartofgold.love. And so you can just kind of see what she's all about, but it just feels beautiful going on the skin. And actually it would be a really interesting combination with something like a retinol right. or retin-a yeah. to kind of help buffer that. So it'd be kind of a like an interesting combination yeah, actually. That one. It looks yeah, awesome. she also has something called the Sweetbriar Hydrating Serum. I think it's another hydrating serum, or I'm forgetting what it is, but I know it's Sweetbriar, and that's another really beautiful mm -hmm. um, emulsion, and that I use that all the time to buffer um, my retinoids. Oh, so, yeah, really we'll helps a lot with that. So anyway, this is a beautiful product. I love it, and it's just really special. Yeah. Right. All right, so the next one I want to talk about is from Peter Thomas Roth. Again, another retinol. This is the Retinol Retinoid Peptide Serum, mm. their Pro Strength line. Mm -hmm. So this has 10% grain active retinoid, which is the hydroxypinacolone retinoate, but then it also has a 5% hexapeptide complex. So it's a retinol peptide product, kind of 
It's like a lesser version of this one, I think. Mm -hmm. This was interesting though. I think that if you were somebody that has drier skin, this would be potentially something to look into because it has almost a- Is it liquidy? Feel that. It has yeah. like a dry oil consistency. So it's in a, one of those It's pump. in a pump yeah. thing. And it's got the retinol color, the yellow retinol color, but it feels like a dry oil. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So there we it go. can, Again, kind of like the polyvitamin serum, I find that I can put this one on my face and that oh, can yeah, be Oh yeah, it is a dry oil. It takes yep. a while to absorb, mm -hmm. so I think that it's gonna be a very specific audience that likes it because it will sit on the top of your skin and like no an oil. Mm -hmm. No smell, sits on the top of your skin a little bit, it takes a while to absorb, but I'll put this on, shower, immediately put this on while my face is a little bit damp, and then just let it sit. Maybe I'll put a moisturizer over the top, maybe not, but mm -hmm. I'll just let it sit on my face. And I have actually really liked it. That's not bad though. No, it's not too bad. It's It's got like a, almost like a squalane feel. Yes, Like if it you does. just do a pure mm -hmm. squalane oil. And I like it for that. This is, I think, a hun in the $100 range. So it is more expensive, but because mm -hmm. it has that oily consistency, I find that it spreads really easily. It might be a good sort of primer I think for foundation, actually. Yeah, I think it could mm -hmm. be. And you don't need a lot. I find that I, you guys know I use quite a bit of product, but I'll use one stopper full and that will do face, neck, back of the neck, and then I rub the rest on my hands. And I have been liking it. On days that I want to use a retinol, but maybe my skin does feel like it could go over the edge on being compromised or a little bit stripped, mm -hmm. I can use this and it actually feels quite soothing. It doesn't right. feel overly irritating, doesn't feel over the top. I think that because it's that Grand Active Retinoid, you're not getting this heavy hit. It's not like using this yeah. or even this that's gonna give you lactic and retinol. Mm -hmm. This just goes on, works slowly, but does work and my skin does seem to like it. So like I said, if you have a drier skin, I think that you could really get along with that because it is more moisturizing. And yeah, I have tried a couple of the products from this line, but this is the standout for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's actually, I mean, its it's gone into my skin yeah, pretty well, I, I and I that, didn't have any kind of um, right. hydration on my skin exactly. at all. So that's pretty good in terms of like how it's sunk in. Yeah, yeah. It, it's an interesting product. It's yeah. definitely a different route for Peter Thomas Roth, mm -hmm. but I, I like it. Mm -hmm. So my last product is from Laurel Skin. I, she, you know, I'm not sure if she's completely changed her name. It used to be Laurel Whole, Whole Plant, Plant Organics, Organics right. but I don't know if she's transitioning to Laurel Skin or what, but either way, it's Laurel Skin or Laurel Whole Plant Organics. Mm -hmm. And this is an oil serum. Okay. So it's all basically plant um, plant oils and some essential oils in here. This is what the bottle looks like. Very beautiful. I love the kind of coppery. Yeah, the black, the black. Yeah, with that copper um, writing there. This is an expensive uh, oil serum. Mm -hmm. It's $96. But Laurel's um, you know, sort of ethos is basically she gets all of her oils from local farms. Right. She's from California, so she gets them from local farms. This has a three-month uh, infusion. Uh, herbal infusion of goto cola, calendula, and comfrey, and then it's all hand pressed. Yeah. So it's very um, artisanal, right. and it's got sea buckthorn, pomegranate oil, rosehip oil. Um, just so really, like again, all organic, locally sourced yeah. from her region in California. There's also rose hip, uh, I mean, um, white rose. Which essential is interesting, oil. that one kind of stands out to me. Yeah, carrot seed oil, frankincense. It smells I really beautiful that. if you want to go ahead and just try it. And when you put it on, oh, you know what? I don't think I oh, actually wow. said the name of it. This is her Vibrancy Renewal Antioxidant Serum. Okay. <laughs> so Vibrancy Renewal, that's what it says, right? Yeah, yeah. Vibrancy Renewal? Yeah, yes. Vibrancy Renewal. And so when you, um, when I'm feeling like this has actually been perfect for being back from Hawaii, you know, with the sun exposure and it just, oh, beautiful color. yeah, it's got a really beautiful ambery color. See, see that? It maybe should focus in, I think. Maybe get right up on top of it. <laughs> oh, wow. There we go. It's going somewhere. <laughs> and it's um, oh, really beautiful. Yeah, and it just feels so nourishing and moisturizing and it just kind of like plumps. The we had to restart the battery thing here. So, so anyway, so what I was saying is, um, with the plant oils and a lot of these moisturizers, that nothing is going to be, you know, sort of that miracle yeah. cure. But with something like this product, basically what you're going to get are just these beautiful plant oils that just really nourish the skin. Mm -hmm. 
uh, moisturize the skin. And what I really notice when I use an oil serum like this is when I wake up the next morning, my skin really does feel very healthy and moisturized and it will feel more plump and my, my lines will feel more softened, but mm -hmm. it's not like they've, you know, disappeared right. or anything like that. But I really love using these types of brands like um, Heart of Gold, Live Botanical, Laurel Skin, um, because I'm supporting, you know, small indie yeah. brands that Which are just, great. you know, yeah. very ethical and again do a lot of regional sourcing and so um for me it's that's the <laughs> bless you thank you <laughs> so for me that's the appeal with these kinds of brands totally so, yeah all right so my last product i i'm not gonna talk about this one last one i <laughs> talked about in my best of beauty for 2019 but i'm officially out of it used it this morning and it's gone <laughs> this is the globiotics md calming restorative treatment so this is the product that i was talking about that has probiotics that mimic the effect of human derived growth factors. So that freaks some people out because it's basically <laughs> human adipose cells that are isolated, spun, whatever, to get the growth factors out. This uses probiotics, so it's a just a different form of that. But the primary focus of this is that it is great for redness on the skin. So if your skin is irritated, raw from retin-A, raw from acids, over sun, too much sun exposure, this is incredible for just immediately soothing that redness and soothing your skin. So it doesn't just get rid of the redness, but it actually does help to soothe the skin mm -hmm. and just make it feel really comfortable. Um, it says that it's great for helping with moisture because of their unique form of hyaluronic acid, but it also helps with stressed or weathered skin. And stressed skin is kind of at the forefront of skincare right now. I've seen 50 Sephora ads on YouTube talking mm -hmm. about stress skin and the Dr. Right. Dennis Gross stress skin products. But this is really, really good for that. You can use it morning and night. When I had this, I used it both morning and night and it lasted mm. for probably three or four months. And where would you use it in your routine? I would use it kind of like the very first product. I would wash oh, really? my face and put this on and mm -hmm. it kind of depended on how irritated my skin yeah. was. If it was incredibly irritated, I would do this an oil and a moisturizer mm. and that's it but otherwise i would do maybe like a hyaluronic acid and then put this on i would keep it fairly simple just because if my skin's that irritated or bothered i don't want to put too much on yeah, it so this would kind of be the primary focus because it is kind of a anti-aging plus soothing product it did a little bit of everything again it's in that hundred dollar range but it lasted quite a long time and I really, really love the Globiotics products. So I feel like when you use them, they last, they're very effective. And I think it's just a really, really good brand. Um, I think if you've been interested in them, I would highly recommend either the retinol or this product. They're mm -hmm. both great. I've recommended this to so many people and they've mm -hmm. had good results. So it's a very nice product. Yeah. Looks like it. All right. Cool. Is that I think it? that's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's everything I've talked well, about that was I have it. here. I guess those are our five products. So those <laughs> are our right. current favorite yeah. serum products. Again, I will list all of Trish's socials and her video and everything Trish related down below. <laughs> and I guess we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks yeah. for watching. Bye. Bye guys.